Hey everybody, welcome to the Waldock Way. I'm Jessica, and today's video is going to be plan our third grade goals with me. So I've talked about how I plan goals for the school year before, and I will link that up here for you guys in case you haven't seen that video before. But today what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually sit down and plan our third grade goals. And I had promised a lot of you guys that I would bring you along with me so that you could kind of see what that looks like. It's not gonna be anything extravagant, it's super simple but I'm gonna try my best to take you through every step so that you can see what that looks like for us. The things that I have in front of me are my laptop, which I'll use in the very last step, which is just to type my goals into OneNote. Again, I have kind of a look over what I keep in OneNote and I will link that up here for you as well. I have my favorite erasable Parku pins. I have an idea plans and goals page from my planner. I'm going to be using the rainbow theme this year. So I have the um, a rainbow themed printable on a clipboard. And then the book that I use the most is the Home Learning by Year. Um, this is year by year, sorry. This is probably one of my favorite resources for planning our homeschool goals. This is my absolute favorite hands down must have every year because it goes from um, preschool through high school and it is just an invaluable resource. It's definitely worth the money that you're gonna spend buying it. And then the other thing I have that I reference, but you don't have to have this, is the what your third grader needs to know. I have the preschool, kindergarten, first, second, and now third. Um, I just use this to kind of get an idea of what read alouds are in here and what things um, kind of I might want to expose her to. I'm going to go ahead and explain that like what I'm going to do before I do it. So the first thing I do is I go through this book and I look through second grade. If there is anything in the second grade that I do not feel like she mastered, that is the first thing that I list. And by what I feel like she mastered, I only address math and language arts. Those are the only two that I would like mastery from her. Everything else I consider exposure good enough. Um, she's still young, so exposure is good enough for me and for us in our homeschool. So I go through here and I will look at second grade and I will get anything that has not been mastered from math and language arts and that's the first thing that goes on my goals list. Then I'm going to go through third grade and I'm going to set no more than 10 total goals at least to start with because I do not like me um, or Emily to be overwhelmed from math and language arts from third grade, the major ones that I want us to work on. So once I have those listed from math and language arts, I will go through this book and this book and I'm gonna look through history and science and art and music. And I'm gonna list things that I wanna make sure that I am making an attempt to expose her to this school year. So what I'm gonna do is each one of these colors on this page is gonna be something different. So it'll be like math, language arts, science, history, geography, and then art and music. And I'm going to make a list of things that I either want her to master or things I want to make sure that I expose her to. And by expose, that can be a game, a documentary, an online class, us doing a unit study. When I plan this out, I'm making, or when I'm setting these goals, I'm making absolutely no like guaranteed set in stone way of how I'm going to expose her. It's just some way that I want to make sure that we hit it whether it's a field trip or whatever, probably not a field trip this particular year, but in the future it could be a field trip. Just want to expose her to something in that particular thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started now and you guys can follow along.
so now I am done for the most part with my list. You can see the math box has the most. That is extremely typical. Um, the only thing in geography is bodies of water because I know we're going to be doing traveling the world. So I know we'll be getting a lot of geography in on that. So I didn't want to add a whole lot there. These are just topics in science I'd like to expose her to that maybe we haven't done in a while or things that I want us to hit that we haven't hit. Um, for the most part, most of the language arts is writing. So writing a report, learning to write an appropriate paragraph and a full paragraph. Um, exposure to different types of poetry and writing types of poetry, being able, being able to differentiate different types of sentences. And then math, we have things like rounding to the nearest 10 and 100, being able to distinguish parallel and perpendicular lines. Um, I would like her to know multiplication through the 10 times 10 um, facts, and I would like her to know the meaning of negative numbers and learn her Roman numerals and the meaning of square numbers. So those are the things that we're going to either touch on or attempt to master in the upcoming school year. So now that I kind of have a general list, I am going to move on to the computer and I'm going to open my OneNote and go ahead and get my goals put in there. we will probably study a lot more than what I included on here. What I put on here was the things that we needed to learn to kind of hit those third grade standards in these two books. I will not necessarily use any specific curriculum. There's a few of the who was units I'll probably write to expose her to. Um, but however we hit all of these goals is fine with me as long as by the end of the year the language arts and math goals have been for the most part met i'm okay with one or two moving on so i just kind of check off as we learn them on the one note that i just showed you and i just put a check mark as she learns them so once i know that she's kind of mastered rounding to the nearest 10 and 100 i will just check that off and then i'll look on there and say okay she's really into for instance zoo right now so i'm know that perimeter and area is one of the things i want us to master so i will start working perimeter and area into an interest that she has so that we can work on mastering that. And then once she has that mastered, I'll check that off. And that's just kind of how we do our year. I just slowly work through the things that I would like us to master. And I slowly work through the things I would like to expose us to. Um, obviously we also do a ton of interest led. So we will definitely be following her lead on a lot, but this way it kind of makes sure that we're hitting the things that are important to me and still um, learning and progressing at the same time.